we have studied z transform purely from mathematical point of view now let's see from signals view what is the difference when we were understanding it from mathematical point of view xn was simply a function for us a mathematical function here xn is a signal the treatment is same but there is a difference of terminologies and understanding we will be understanding the signals also the waves also when we will we'll study z transform for signals okay so let's have a quick recap if xn is a discrete signal xn is a discrete signal you understand what is discrete so if xn is a discrete signal what we do we take transform of uh, this xn which is written like this this is basically z transform of xn so z transform of xn which is uh, written like this is defined as n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity xn the signal into z to the power minus n this you know this is from minus infinity to 0 or 1 sorry minus 1 it is the left sided n that is if this is n and this is 0 this is n line so this side is called left side which is from minus infinity to minus 1 and from 0 to this side is right side since it is discrete so we don't have any value between this and this that is why we write from minus infinity to minus 1 okay so this is the basic definition of z transform let's see what is the relation between z transform and discrete fourier transform see maybe you haven't studied fourier transform if you have studied that's good even if you haven't studied uh, fourier transform for a signal let's say yn let's say the sequence is yn the fourier transform of yn is given as n equal to minus infinity to infinity the signal into e to the power j omega n this is the definition of fourier transform so what we are trying to understand is relation between z transform and fourier transform so we are starting with this so that there is a clear understanding so we know Fourier transform of this and we know z transform of xn we just saw it is given as n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity xn into z minus n these definitions are there we have to find what is the relation between these two now z is a complex number that is given as r e j omega okay what is the meaning of this that if you have this, this if this is a z plane this is the real axis and this is the imaginary axis then it is basically a circle where the radius of the circle is r this point is r this is the meaning of this as a complex number you very, very well understand complex number so this is this case so if you take z transform of xn and put the value of z what you will get it will be n equal to minus infinity to infinity x n and then r e see z to the power minus n that is r to the power minus n e to the power minus j omega n okay i have put this value in this equation now if you look at this very uh, closely if you club these two terms and see this is basically y n that is z transform of x n is nothing but Fourier transform of x n into r to the power minus n clear see this equation if you fit y n equal to this so z transform of x n is Fourier transform of this x n into r to the power minus n okay now if r is equal to 1 what is the meaning of this what is r r is basically mod of z so r equal to mod of z is r so r equal to 1 means mod of z equal to 1 so the we plotted this so the circle here is the radius is 1 only 1 that is unity this is the real part this is the imaginary part so r is 1 okay this is not perfect circle okay so if r is equal to 1 
that is mod of z is 1. This means Fourier transform of, see this is 1, so this is Fourier transform of x and only, that is for r equal to 1, that is mod of z equal to 1, z transform reduces to Fourier transform. Again I am saying, for if modulus of z is 1, that is r is equal to 1, z transform of xn reduces to Fourier transform of, discrete Fourier transform of xn. This is the relation between these two. To understand here, this means at the contour, that is this, this r equal to 1, this is the contour, r equal to 1, that is on the z plane, on the contour of this unit circle, z transform reduces to Fourier transform. Okay, this is conceptual part. I think this is clear. Okay, ne next, let's move to region of convergence. What is region of convergence? Now, when you take xz, which is z transform of xn, you have function of z, xz is basically a function of z. So, there will be range of values, range of values for which xz converges. This is a sequence, this is a function. Obviously, a function will converge or diverge. So, there will be a range of values for which xz converges. This set of or this range of values is called region of convergence. Okay. This is the definition. Now, we will take examples and we will understand all these. Okay. So, let us start with our first example. Our sequence is xn is a to the power n u n. You must have seen this while solving uh, z transform in mathematics also. So, the sequence is x to xn is a to the power n u n. Now, let us take z transform that is xz. It will be n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a to the power n u n z to the power minus n. What is the meaning of u n? u n is step function. That is, it is defined for n greater than 0 only, greater than equal to 0. Below this, that is n less than 0, this is 0. So, this reduces to n equal to 0 to infinity. This is a n z minus n. Or, what you can do? You can write it like this. a z minus 1 to the power n. What is this? This is a sequence. n equal to 0, this will be 1. You can write it at 1. Then, a z minus 1. Then, a z minus 1 square and so on. That is, this is a progression. Now, if a z minus 1, the ratio, ratio of progression, that is a z minus 1, this is the progression. If this is less than 1, the ratio of progression is less than 1, what you get is 1 by 1 minus r, the ratio of progression. So, it is this. It can al also be written like z by z minus a. And what is the region of convergence from here? You know, this will be if you take it to this side, what you will get? You will get, if it goes to this side, it is a z. So, z is greater than a. That is, if you plot on z plane, if this is real, this is imaginary, it is a circle. So, let the radius of that circle be a, then it is greater than a. That is, the region of convergence is this, out of this, this region. So, this is the question. Now, let us see second question, second example closely related to this question. Two. Minus a to the power n x of minus n minus 1. What is the meaning of this? Sorry, not x of u of unit step function, u minus 1. This means if this is n, this is 0, this is minus 1. So, this means this side. That is minus infinity to minus, sorry, minus 1 to minus infinity. Okay. So, our xz will be n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity minus a n u minus n minus 1 z minus n. So, this can be written like I am taking this minus out. So, this will be say uh, n equal to minus infinity. You understand this? It is minus infinity to minus 1 only. So, that we can remove this. We will get a to the power n z minus n. Okay. So, how to solve this? See how we solve this. Let us think of n as minus n. That is, let us put n equal to minus n. Then this will be 1, this will be infinity. So, what we will get? We will get, we have taken n as minus n. So, n will be from 1 to 
plus infinity and here this will get reversed. We have taken n as minus n. So, a minus n, z n. So, this is what we get. Now, still we can't solve it. We need to have um, a progression from n equal to 0 to infinity. So, we can write it like this. So, 1 minus n equal to 0 to infinity a minus n z n. Why? Because when you put n equal to 0, it is 1. So, 1 minus 1 0. So, this is effectively, you can write it like this and you can write this like this a inverse z to the power n. So, what you get is 1 minus 1 by 1 minus a inverse z. This is what you get. So, you can if you take it, I am doing it here only. So, it will be 1 minus a inverse z minus 1. So, this, this cancels. What do you get? You get this is minus a inverse z. See, this is minus a inverse z. Yes, correct. This is minus because here it will be minus and then minus. So, what we get is minus a inverse z by 1 minus a inverse z. So, you can write it like this a inverse z by a inverse z minus 1. You can simplify it, multiply by a up and down. What you will get? See, if you multiply by a, this is gone, this is gone and here you will get this. So, you can simplify it. Now, let us come to this point. This has to be a inverse z. The modulus has to be less than 1 so that we could calculate the progression. What is the meaning of this? This means z less than a. This means mod of z less than a. That is the region of convergence. I am plotting it here. The region of convergence here will be less than a. So, if this is a, it is inside this. So, we although the function that we have got for the first one when we the sequence was a to the power n u n and the second one when it is minus a to the power n u minus n minus 1, this is same. The expression is same, but region of convergence is, is different. There it was out of this circle and here it is inside this circle. Clear? Our next question is this. So, x z will be, you know, this is a to the power n u n and what we had got was a z minus 1. This was for a to the power n u n. What was the result? The result was 1 minus a z 1 or it was z by z minus a. This was the result. So, for this we will have, when you will put everything, you will get 7 into z by z minus a. That is 1 by <coughs> 3. And we had seen it was mod of z was greater than a. That is greater than 1 by 3. A is this. So, this is the reason of convergence. This the z, z is defined for these values. Now, for this one, it is 6 into z by z minus 1 by 2. And this will be mod of z for greater than 1 by 2. First of all, let us understand the region of convergence. This says if you have this is 1 by 3 and this is 1 by 2. This function says it is the region of convergence is this out of this. And this function says region of convergence is this out of this only. Obviously, the second function won't converge in this region. So, finally, the region of convergence is this only. So, z mod of z greater than half is the order, uh, region of convergence for this problem. Now, let us see the expression. If you multiply, it will be 7321z by 3z minus 1. And this is 12z by 2z minus 1. This is 3z minus 1, 2z minus 1. So, here you will get 2z that is 42z minus 21. Sorry, this will be square. 21 to 42 is z square minus 21z. Here you will get minus 12 into 3 that is 36z square minus minus plus 12z. So, you have 42 minus 36z square that is the value is 42 minus 36 is 6. So, this is 6z square minus 21 plus 12. So, it is minus 9z by 3z minus 1 into 2z minus 1. So, the xz is equal to this. This is that is the transform and I have told you the region of convergence is mod of z greater than half. Now, let us see this question. xn is 1 by 3 to the power n sin pi by 4 n u n. Now, if you remember sin n theta 
साइन एन थीटा इट इज वन बाय टू जे ई टू द पावर जे एन थीटा माइनस ई टू द पावर माइनस जे एन थीटा दिस इज साइन एन थीटा सो वी कैन राइट दिस थीटा इज पाई बाय फोर इयर सो वी कैन राइट साइन एन पाई बाय फोर एज वन बाय टू जे दिस इज ई टू द पावर जे एन पाई बाय फोर माइनस ई जे एन पाई बाय फोर ओके so sin n pi by 4 is this let's see so our xz will be or simply let's put it inside see this is this into this that is 1 by 3 to the power n into 1 by 2j here we have e to the power j n pi by 4 minus e minus j n pi by 4 and un so if you take the power n we try to fit it it will be 1 by 2j first part then this is e to the power j pi by 4 by 3 to the power n okay power n power n minus e to the power minus j pi by 4 by 3 to the power n 1 by 2j okay so this is this function is this into un un so what will be the z transform z transform will be you know for any function i'm taking first function 1 by 2j out out of this this is a to the power n un so the value that you get is a to the power n so that is equal to z by z minus a where a is e to the power j pi by 4 by 3 okay and here what you get is minus z by z minus e to the power minus j pi by 4 by 3 so this is the function you can consolidate this function to get exit clear you can multiply these two this is this and this okay and you will get the final figure what's important is what will be the region of convergence see region of convergence means this particular function a has to be this was a a z minus 1 this should be less than 1 now mod of e j pi by 4 is 1 when you take mod of e j pi by 4 you know e to the power j theta mod is equal to 1 because it is cos theta sin theta and mod will be under root cos square theta plus sin square theta so this will be 1 so we are left with z inverse 3 less than 1 so if you take this side change this will be z greater than 1 by 3 okay if you take z to this side this will be z equal to sorry uh, z greater than mod of z greater than 1 by 3 so this is our region of convergence and it is same for both because here here also it will be mod of e to the power minus j by 4 again it is 1 so z in z inverse by 3 greater than 1 so we have the same result so the region of convergence here is this one if this is 1 by 3 so region of convergence is this okay now we have three expressions here for xn our fifth example let's see for first xn is del n so for first our xz will be n equal to minus infinity to infinity del n z minus n now try to understand this del n you know del n will be equal to 1 for n equal to 0 and 0 otherwise this you know about del 1 so at n equal to 1 what it sorry uh, at n equal to 0 this will be 1 so n equal to 0 this will be z to the power 0 so this will be 1 so xz is 1 1 means the region of convergence is entire z plane okay there is no zero there, there are no zeros there are no poles now let's see the second one xz is n equal to minus infinity to infinity this is del n minus 1 z minus 1 sorry not more 1 minus n what is the meaning of this this means at n equal to 1 it is 1 otherwise zero so at n equal to 1 this will be z minus 1 so this is 1 by z xz is 1 by z this means region of convergence will be entire z plane excluding z equal to 0 why because at z equal to 0 the function will be infinity that is it is a pole at 1 by z when the function is infinity that is the pole so clear now let's see the third one it says 
n equal to minus infinity to infinity this is del n plus 1 z minus n now this will be 1 at n equal to minus 1 only so at n equal to minus 1 this will be 1 so n equal to minus 1 this will be z so the value is z what will be the region of convergence the region of convergence is again entire z plane but the function will be infinity at z equal to infinity that is it has a pull at z equal to infinity so entire z plane but it has a pull at z equal to infinity okay clear now let's see this question xn is a to the power n between these values otherwise it is zero so what we get is the z transform is n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity it will be x n z minus n but the value is only between 0 to this so this reduces to n equal to 0 to n minus 1 this is a to the power n so this is a z inverse to the power n okay this is a progression the ratio is a z minus 1 you know the value is given as this into the this to the power n by 1 minus a z inverse this is what we get so if you resolve it you will get 1 by z n minus 1 this is z to the power n minus a to the power n z minus a so this is what you get see the question is xn is b to the power mod of n now mod of n means when n is less than 0 we will have one left hand side operation and when n is greater than 0 we have another operation so we can break it into two parts when n is greater than 0 so when n is greater than 0 we can write it as b to the power n it is u n and when n is less than 0 we can write it as b to the power minus n u minus n minus 1 this you have seen this you understand how to break the discrete signals this is the right side this is the left side okay this was this is plus this side plus this side this is for left hand side that is this is n then from minus 1 to this side the function is this b to the power minus n and from 0 to this side the function is b to the power n this is the meaning so we have to take z transform we have seen z transform of a to the power n and we have seen a to the power minus n also so what you get is 1 by 1 minus b z inverse this is for this and for this it, it comes to minus because the example that we took we took it was minus a to the power n this is plus so we will take minus 1 minus b inverse z inverse so this is the function what are the region of convergences here first will give mod of z greater than b and second will give mod of z less than 1 by b this we have seen in our example the if you want to um, solve it you can do you can this into this then you put this this minus this you can solve it this is uh, not very difficult now what's important is i'm leaving you uh, you can take xz the value of xz now what what's important is the region of convergence to understand here see b is greater than 0 but the function will uh, behave differently for two cases first case when b is greater than 1 and second case will be when b is between 0 and 1 so let's say for b greater than 1 b greater than 1 if you see the first will give let's say this is b so z greater than b means this is the convergence region of convergence for the first function and 1 by b obviously it will be since b is greater than 1 uh, b is greater than 1 1 by b will be less than b so let's say that circle is this this is 1 by b okay and it is less than this that is the region of convergence here will be this one this one see the first function says z the range of values are out of b this circle and second function says the range of values for uh, b is sorry z is less than this so there is no convergence that is for b greater than 1 there, there is no region of convergence okay you get this now let's see the second case second case is when the value of b is between 0 and 1 now between 0 and 1 1 by b is actually greater than b numerically so see what happens this will be b and this will, will be 1 by b okay so the first part says z is greater than b that is it means this region out of this region okay and the second says less than 1 by b that is this region so what you get is this ring 
between 1 by b and b this is the region of convergence it is it does not converge in this or out of this this ring is the region where this converges okay